Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika. And with some celebrity news and gossip, as always, I apologize to each and every one of you who were waiting on last week's Green Leaf and the finale of Queen Sugar. Unfortunately, I was not able to do watch those shows because of work and because... Last week, I had a problem with the internet connection, and I never thought download the own app until like two days ago. So, if you guys still want that, you can let me know down in the uh, panic section of this video, and I will go back and watch it, and then I will be able to do that review for you guys. But in the meantime, honey, in between time, let's talk about what's going on with these basketball wives, honey. They got some mess going on over there. Now, I ain't been keeping up with the tea but child i had as i had some time today after the live and again thank you all for coming to the live that did come earlier today i really had a wonderful time and i felt very uplifted and inspired and i hope i was able to give that back to some of you but let's talk about miss evelyn lozada now y'all know she's not one of my favorite basketball wives but i found this really really interesting article i will share the link down in the uh pinned comments so you can go over and read it for yourself but child it says that uh, Ms. Lozada has uh, filed a restraining order against her basketball wife's co-star. Now, let's get into it. About a week ago, you would think Evelyn Lozada was one of the one, would be the one to have a restraining order filed against her. But as it turns out, she is the one who is now considering the move on her basketball wife's co-star, uh, OG. Okay. According to The Blast, Evelyn is considering getting a restraining order against OG for her reported meltdown at the show's reunion taping, right? As the story goes, the reunion show has had a two-stage uh, setup as a way to avert any drama between the ladies. Evelyn and other castmates were seated on the main stage while OG and others were sitting at a smaller stage. OG didn't like this, stormed off the set, came back hours later after realizing the taping still continued without her. Child... Um, it was the latter, uh, it was the latter that sparked OG to go off on Evelyn on social media, sharing angry messages that detailed violence. According to the publication, Evelyn is concerned about OG's mental state and her team is advising her to get a restraining order for better protection. We can only assume that OG has removed some of the threatening, uh, threatening things she shared on social media, but that doesn't mean that Evelyn won't continue her lawsuit if she decides to do that. Now, I don't know what happened, y'all, but I'm going to link this article so that you guys can see the uh, tweets that she sent out from OG, and you tell me if you think that is wrong. One of the tweets say the nerve. <laughs> Wait, Evelyn Lozada has the audacity to call at I Heart OG, a groupie, the nerve of this recycled nut rag, I'm dead as fuck. And child, it appears that they had quite a, a, a going back and forth with one another. Now, my opinions on this entire situation is simply this. I feel like if you cannot get on this show and you two have a disagreement without it resulting in an argument or physical violence or a threats of physical violence, then that ain't the show for you. Now, Evelyn Lozado is known for jumping across the table and throwing a drink, all of that. So I really don't think that she's in fear of her life. I think, in my opinion, she's putting 20 on 10. Whatever went on on that reunion stage needs to be left there. Let the season end. Move on. That's my personal opinion about it. But I have not watched the season, so I don't know what all has happened. I just know that that's how I feel about it. We all on here to do a job. You got to disregard emotions and acquire logic when you're dealing with business always. So unless she really, really feels that there was a threat to her, then I don't think she need to be doing all that. Because what if everybody that she attacked went and did a restraining order on her? Hmm. See, turnabout is fair play. Now, moving on into other celebrity news and gossip for today. You guys, Wendy Williams made a big announcement about uh, her morning show's future in her season premiere. Let's talk about it. 
Uh, Wendy Williams kicked off the new season of her morning talk show by teasing something really, really big. At the top of the hour, she came out and told her audience, I've got something really, really big to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you until later in the show. As she said this, she started touching her stomach, leading to screams from the audience. She then told everybody to calm down. I'll let you know later in the show. Y'all, pregnancy was not the news, but the news was about the show's future. Everyone have a seat. I got I got through almost the whole show without shedding a tear as she stands at the podium in her studio audience, before her studio audience. She said then, attention Wendy staff, crew, and everybody gathered around. You and you on the TV, you here. The Wendy show has been renewed through 20 22. I love you. I knew this about this renewal for a moment now, and I haven't been able to say anything to anyone, not my mom, not my dad, no one. She continued. But when I'm, but when I'm reading the blogs that say that we're going away, I can't handle it. We're and we're being canceled. No, darling, we are here. There was also a little shade toward her ex, Kevin Hunter, in the closing credits as she came up to spoke, which read Jess Wendy under the producer, executive producer credit. Hunter's name was removed from the credits last year. The rest of the premiere was business as usual as she began her hot topic segment by shutting down recent uh, reports from page six. A publication claimed that she skipped an Us Weekly partly last week due to a run in with Lil' Kim. Calling the story ridiculous, Williams says. She has been invited to the most stylish New York New Yorkers bashed by the magazine and was happy to make their list this year. But when it came time to go to the event, she was too exhausted to go. Saying it was a busy day here at Wendy as the crew prepped for the new season, she backed out. I was a little tired, she said, claiming she told her assistant to let the magazine know she wasn't sick and appreciated the honor but just couldn't make it. The New York Post, you got it wrong. I did not go to the party because I heard little Kim was going to be there, she continued. I said I was going to come to the party, and all of a sudden, at the last minute, I just kind of wanted to go home, oil my joints, and sit on my um, lipodema machine. I couldn't have been... It wouldn't have been fun to hang. I wouldn't have been fun to hang out with. She said, "I don't know. Little Kim was going. I didn't know Little Kim was going to be there. I love Little Kim. Stop trying to start something. Little Kim and I are fine." She said. Then she said, "I turned fifty-five over the summer, and you have learned. And you have to learn to take your past when you just don't feel like getting down." Is what she said. That being said, she still had one hell of a hiatus from the show. Williams went on to describe her own hot girl summer, which included reconnecting with former friends Nene Leakes, heading to Miami, and partying with Cardi B in New York. I made a lot of good friends over the summer. I'm really, I'm in a really good place to be back with you, she told her audience. I feel on fire to deliver you what you watch this show for. Nene Leakes will appear on the show tomorrow. And that is a word from our girl, Wendy Williams. I'm glad that Wendy Williams' show was uh, renewed until 2020, 2022. That's good. Anybody that feels any other kind of way about it is a person who is not truly a supporter and probably a hater. I want to see this lady win. I know she done been through some things, but I really want to see her win and to hear her say today that she was preparing to um, start her new adventure and her show was being uh, renewed until 2022 was a good thing. I don't get to catch her all the time. I catch her clips a lot of times on YouTube. But again, I have to always say, I want my sister to win. Yeah, Wendy got some things about her, and she done said a lot of awful things. But again, t- where mercy is shown, mercy is given. Somebody in my life had to forgive me for some of the stuff I did and said. So I have no problem with Wendy moving forward. I hope that what she has gone through and is going through helps her kind of soften her heart when she is delivering her news and doing her hot topic segments. 
I'm not saying deviate from be telling the truth, but put some compassion in it. Compassion can still be funny, child, okay? It still can be funny. So I'm very happy to hear that Wendy has been renewed, and I look forward to seeing her prosper and grow in her show, and I wish her nothing but success in her personal life. I will link both articles down in the pinned comment section so that you guys can go over and read it for yourselves. And also, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about Wendy's um, being renewal and this whole Evan Lozado possibly filing a restraining order against OG from basketball wise. Let me know what y'all think about all that down in the panic section below. And as in ending as always, remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the video. Ratings get me recognized on these YouTube streets. Comment down below in the panic. I want to hear your thoughts. If you have not become a love thing today, please subscribe to my channel. Also, tap your notification bell button, setting it to all so that each and every time I go live from this channel or I upload a pre-recorded video, you will get a notification and you can come over and join in the conversation. Y'all, I have been very lax in my comments as of late. I will be doing better this week, okay? I will be down in the panic section commenting and talking back with you guys, you know, and if you come at me crazy about anything, I will block you. But it... Overall, I'm just going to get back to, you know, talking to y'all. I kind of fell off because so much stuff been going on, work and all of that stuff. So, I haven't been very vigilant in my comments. But I see stuff. I Instead of me responding, I just block those that need to be blocked and I keep it moving. Anyway. That's it, y'all. Uh, let me know what you if, what you want me to do. Do you want the finale for Queen Sugar? Because it is over with. But I did not get a chance to watch it. Because on Tuesday of last week, during the middle of the day, my internet and cable went out on me. It took them a couple of days to get out here and fix it. And then I had to fight with them again today. But, child, that's a whole nother story. But I'm okay. Everything going to be swell, and I'm going to try to do, you know, a couple videos here and there as I can this week. Tomorrow is my date with Ben. I want to get that out the way, so by Saturday, I can be back down here, which will be my birthday Saturday, and party with y'all. And I hope as many of y'all that can will come to the live and help celebrate uh, 47 years, child. That is a blessing because millions didn't make it. But, honey, if I make it to Saturday, I was one of the ones that did. Have a great remainder to your Monday. I will see you guys throughout the week. And stay blessed. Peace.